Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the Game Mechanic here with you as always. Uh, please forgive me, I'm a little under the weather, so if my voice or explanations seem lackadaisical, lethargic, or anything like that, that is the the reason why. Bag uh, Bagman, welcome in with the Prime Sub. Thank you for the uh, Prime Sub train to start the day. Thank you very, very much. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, we are recording this over at twitch.tv slash the game mechanic uh, live on the internet. And we're playing Matthias. Matthias is a gathering storm sieve, a very particularly powerful one with a uh, pearl of the Danube, the Danube. Uh, the Danube, because you're such a noob there, Matthias. Uh, not really. He's got some pretty powerful abilities. I don't. I've never really loved his unique units. Uh, nor do I love the thermal the thermal bath. But the uh, pearl is quite good, um, and 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 makes a space race pretty interesting because making uh, production more efficient is usually a good way to start. Um, so we have a pretty fantastic start here in a uh, continent split. And uh, with four really solid plantations, uh, the tea less so, uh, but a 221 tobacco as well as a 223 cocoa are really good. We went over the three basic options of settle here, settle here, settle here. The one that I like the most is the cattle. Um, by settling the cattle, we get a 3 1 base. We start with the weakest overall tiles of those three choices, settle in place, settle here, settle the, the cattle, uh, but we wind up growing into, we start with extra gold, which, which might wind up being good here with Raven, um, Raven King, uh, but then after that, we grow into really good tiles, right? We grow into a 2-2, two -two, we grow into this, we grow into this, um, and then we get potentially three extra districts um, with our Pearl uh, ability, which can be quite good. Um, Let's let's start by moving this warrior just to confirm our choices. Don't see it changing at all. Settle here, maybe another city up there, maybe a government plaza in between here, depending on production levels. Uh, but yeah, I like that turn to settle the cattle quite a bit. So let's do that. Okay, there's our third luxury. Um, so three out of the four luxuries on our home continent here are plantations, uh, and we have a banana tile as well. So plantation pantheon looking quite strong. Uh, Amber being a decent tile to mine later on, regardless. We, of course, have a plus five campus there that we'd like to start early on. And let's make our turn to settle. Um, settling here is interesting, too. You kind of roll the dice with maybe really interesting districts or stuff on this other side. Uh, but I think, again, by by moving here, we open up the most amount of workable tiles, um, potentially. Shame there's no camp for TOA. It is a little bit of a shame, isn't it? So we did find a new continent, which is good. And then we get some era score for settling the floodable river. Uh, again, a little bit low on opening tiles. It's a 2-1 with three extra. That's almost like a 2-2 tile. Uh, so it's not really the worst. Hey, Muth, how you doing? Uh, and I, I'll take the extra gold to either like buy more tiles or maybe buy a builder early on. We'll see. I will look for a farmable resource for the irrigation boost pretty early on here. Um, so we find our first camp. Uh, there is a somewhat of a decent Matthias city right here on the wheat with all like with potentially four extra districts for his uh, Pearl ability, but uh, doesn't look like very productive city beyond that. So I'm not sure how much I'm prioritizing that. Uh, and then I think if if you have a chance at making Raven King work, it requires a rush to swordsman. Um. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to do this. I would like to. Uh, it's a strong ability. Um, but basically, we don't really have much of a choice. We have to go directly from mining into ironworking. Hope that we have iron. This is not a balanced map, so it's certainly possible that we don't. Uh, but that is where we are going. Surrealist, so thank you for the two months. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back into the shop. So slow on this scout. Hopefully, we grow to the Pantheon one, uh, although I'd also be fine with growing to the Coco. Uh, those are really the only two options, so both of those are fine grow two tiles. The Black Army is actually that good. I don't really find either of his unique um, abilities to be that good. Looking like no iron in the cap. Yeah, we're probably going to have to prioritize that in our next city. We'll see what happens. We'll take that first. Uh, not a particularly good Eureka, unfortunately. Get the military tradition, which we're, we're about to clear anyways, because we could uh, clear that. So that's a bit of a bust. Uh, 
but I always I always grab the goody hut there. It could just turn into another scout. It could turn into a builder. It could turn into a lot of things that would help us a ton. Um, so it's just a little unlucky that we didn't find it. Definitely want to come explore this continent as well. Wish you could prioritize the seed growth tiles. Yeah, me too. So this is just a continent's map. Small. Hey, crazy guy. And yes, Gandhi is up here. So maybe if we can find a city-state, we could like war him. Uh, but the fact that we haven't already found a city-state makes it pretty unlikely, I think, to be able to, to really work that ability. We could still take him out regardless. Daily Skirmisher, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I'll take the first attack there. That guy didn't come in and help me. So here we are on our second citizen already, working this obviously not fantastic first tiles to work here, uh, but two turns until we grow. We could also just buy and then grow into both of these. I don't mind that. It's a straight upgrade over both of these. Rogan! <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Dropping in to share the sub. Have to go to work now. Have a nice game. Thank you for the tier two, my friend. Welcome from back. Germany, TGM love. <laughs> we'll see you later on, man. Thank you so much. I'm thinking about buying the tobacco. I think either one of these that we buy, we grow to the opposite one. So I think it's better to start with the faith. And then in two turns, we'll grow to that, and those will be straight upgrades. And then from there, we'll have to see what else we do. Double T up there. Really not productive land over there. We're going to need some serious scouting. Am I going to go for Plantations Pantheon? Possibly. Zero tiles gain fertility there. Wow. First meet on Babylon. Babylon's also coastal, meaning if we're going to expand, it's going to be to the south here. Gandhi's already got two cities up here, it looks like. <laughs> no, probably no, no, probably no stone circles. I say probably as if I would ever consider it without memeing. I think we need the second scout. There's our growth, by the way. So now we're working two fantastic tiles. So even though we had a bit of a slow start initial tile quality wise, um, we're going to get our next one. And then, yeah, 12 turns to grow there. We could prioritize a purchase of something like this and then eventually purchase that for some extra culture. That could be reasonable. Um, not the most productive cap I've ever seen, but I think good enough. Yo, what's up, Cry? How are you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. I am going to go scout up here. That's not what I wanted to see. I was going to say, if you like leave your little... Settler there that could work out for us. <laughs> That's awesome, Kate okay, Cargan. Yeah, looking pretty boxed in. Uh, we could prioritize some military. Um, his unique units are available, although, again, as I say, I don't think they're particularly good. This one's a replacement courser. Um, so let's see, 10 horses, 3 gold, 47 melee strength, and 3 combat strength for each adjacent levied unit. That's pretty useless. Slightly stronger than your typical uh, courser. And then this is uh, pretty bad, too. If you're going to be a warmonger, you're probably not going to have alliances. It's just kind of a weird one. I, 
could move here to potentially, again, like, assuming, like, maybe the AI does something stupid. Like, move the settler there to settle and then move the warrior. Like, we could just, we could just wait. Nope. He's, he's guarding. He's guarding fairly diligently. So, boom. There's his next city. Blocking my entire uh, path up here. Which is not ideal. Don't really want Coastal Matthias. Normally, I'd be thrilled about sticking a city in there. Once again, like that could be fine. Um, and this city winds up actually being pretty productive. It could even be worthy. But you get zero ability out of Pearl here. Like, like sticking in a, either a coastal city or a city like that uh, just punts on half his ability set, which is, you know, the good half of it. So it's not ideal. That is the end of that river. I think I'm actually going to go straight through this rough terrain here. And I'm going to get started on a settler. I have no idea where it's going. Absolutely no idea. It might have to go here on the tobacco just to get a productive city in there. Get him some housing. Uh, we talked about it a lot at the beginning. Went over in depth all the different abilities, Cry. At the start of the stream. The upgrade to cavalry, uh, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. So we are pop three there. I'll have to look and see what third tile we're working. Probably the other gold one, which is fine. Uh, again, I'd really like to unlock some settlers pretty, pretty early here. It'd be nice to fight him, although it's pretty tough to do. Could take the combat strength before clearing this camp, but I wasn't really worried about losing that attack. So there's his one, two, three cities. I think we might have to gear towards some uh, combat with him. This is not where I want to be over here either. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Okay. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. Hmm. Yeah, I should have taken scout XP before moving there. That's okay. We can still take survey. I've got two scouts going on. And then I don't need uh, God King because we're already working tobacco to get our Pantheon. So that's good. Go after the boosted one here. There's some Matthias style rivers, if I've ever seen them. Probably where our next city's going. It looks like a uh, city state here as well. Maybe try to get a city up there. This is definitely going to be a little bit awkward. Wow, some real production here. Just pure hills. Lots of copper for extra gold. So third tile is yes. This one. Four turns till we grow to that. That's fine. I don't see the need to buy. Immediately denounced. This should be fun. I do think beelining this is really important. So I haven't killed a scout. I've only killed one. No, I'm not on his continent. But if I come settle here, which is pretty much my only option, if you're looking at the rest of our land, it's going to be really, really tough. Because he's he's very strong on his home continent there. This is just useless, huh? Is Teddy already unhappy with me? Because deity... Denouncing system doesn't make sense to you? Yeah, sometimes it doesn't make sense to me either. 
I might be able to snag this. Oh, God, that's his city. That's just all kinds of yikes. Oh, my God. All right, I guess we have to go full warmonger if we're going to make this work for us at all. Like, this is insanely boxed in. Like, I, I, I have no room. There's somebody here. Like, he's got all three of his cities down. He's down here. Looks pretty rough. I still think I can get that somehow. There's a scout kill. All right, that's at least a city state. I don't think I get to clear this now. Meet them. Mysticism. That will get as well. Profanity, thank you for the brand new Prime sub. Welcome on into the shop. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow. What a waste. Okay. Yeah, he cleared it. Uh, it's a first meet. Interesting. So I need to kill one more. I might just have to hard tech. Bronze working now. No, I basically have nowhere to settle. Is exactly the problem. And Teddy is a real tough neighbor to have this early on. <sighs> OCC. I was thinking about doing like a four CC with him, just because his uh, his thing is his power, his ability is so powerful. But I think we're just gonna have to fight. Great bath, major drought. So where does this city go? I don't hate this. City obviously not really Petra worthy with just a couple hills like this, but we can kind of ignore that. We can get a plus three campus. We could also get a plus five campus. Uh, plus three campus could be across the river like this. Uh, with some other options. City did expand, and I would like to work this over this, yes. Although the that extra gold for levying isn't insignificant. Go north of this amber. I'm a little afraid to do that. If I settle here, I pick up these productive tiles, which are fine. Start with extra food, which is good for loyalty in the long run. We get production, production. We actually settle here and then maybe buy that immediately. Although we could just settle here, work this, and then expand to that immediately. Hopefully before they do. Seems okay. That's a first meet too. I have no idea how we're getting these first meets. It plays really well into pot potentially what we can do here. Um... So marble dies. Marble and dies on this continent. My man. Yeah, I mean, we have to pick our direction here. It's either up or down. Like I could see this being a city in the long run. Even though, again, like no, no, no real motivation to do that as far as our skill set goes. Buena settled on luxury. They actually settled on truffles. 
I've seen I've seen this a lot more with city states recently. Well, my my main reason for for potentially uh, being interested in warring down this way is the first meets on these city states. Um, Babylon could maybe help us take a city, but yeah, we probably have to stay away from Teddy. So I think yeah, I think I'm going up here with the city. I think it's okay. Could maybe make a really greedy like Ruhr Valley city in there somewhere, but I, I I can't be that greedy right now. Do I want to go into a second settler right away for like maybe further this way? What am I doing if I'm not doing that? Units ideally were ideally were levying. For some units. I'm also sad because I think I wanted a government plaza this. Builder doesn't really do much until we get the Eureka. I'm getting another settler, I think. Monument for Amani? That's not a bad idea, Jay. Hanging gardens. Alright, I guess I have to t hard tech bronze working. What's up, Slim? Hope you're having a good day, too. Yes, I need to scout this, but I know it's not going to be too much, right? And I think my best options are forward settling somewhere. And I guess I'm just hard teching bronze working. Really annoys me when we can't get this. I get this in every game where like I don't need it. Hmm. Can't really do much about that, sadly. That's a first meet, too. I mean... Okay. <laughs> That's the positive aspect. No, we don't levy Bab Babylon now. It's too early. Oh, to clear this? Nah. So we buy the trader there. I want the I want the uh, trading post. So I need to get that like immediately. I wish I had a spot all the way through. Can there be desert wheat? Yeah, the, the, yeah, like this. These are desert tiles, technically. Draco. So yeah, so we have to do this. I wish we could go to Delhi. But we'll take it for now. I don't think I can get through Kumasi. All 
All right, so we start with this, um, and hopefully we don't have to worry about buying this tile. We should be able to expand very quickly into this, although there are one, two, three, four resource tiles, so it could expand theoretically to any one of those first. Um, so it's a little bit weird. And then I think my other city is actually going to go in here. It doesn't have a lot of resources, uh, but if we settle here, we could actually get the wheat um, to unlock our plantations, plus there are like good districts. We did, Slim. So yeah, so start with this. That's quite good. I might want to get a builder going here. For this uh, wheat, as well as like improving this amber and getting some more gold. Uh, we wound up winning by uh, culture, sadly. You bring light in. Hey, thank you, Tip. I only watch you on Twitch, so take this sub. Thank you very much. That's quite kind of you. I appreciate the support. That's What is that? Earth Goddess? You took Earth Goddess? Wow. Hey, horses. It's down here. Kind of my problem. Also horses here. Uh, that makes that city weirder. So much for my river bias. I mean, we got some rivers, but just... Are you serious? Uh, since about September... Can you check what tile they'll expand to? Yes, yes, but it alternates. All right, so iron. Bronze is the mirror. Uh, okay. So one source of iron. There's iron. I have to get this online like immediately. Yeah, this is a prime coastal seed, which is exactly not what you're trying to do with uh, with uh, Matthias, unfortunately. <laughs> Come to me, little Zettler. Yes, good. Come to me. <laughs> How long do I usually stream stream for? I try to stream for four hours uh, minimum. Any more than that, I start to get like pretty winded. But we will on days that it's like special. I don't know how long I'm gonna stream today because uh, I don't feel really well. But we'll see. Yeah, snack I have. This is an amazing capital with like really questionable everything else. Yeah, it's 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 pretty powerful. I would say. So I think he took Earth Goddess. Not that we were looking for that anyways, but that's interesting. We certainly want Goddess of Festivals here. Uh, just too many plantations uh, in general throughout this continent. I think we are looking to maybe uh, take our whole continent over. Um, yes, I see this. I can't really do a whole lot about it. I can grab that too, although I want the uh, plantation first, or the uh, pantheon first. So yeah, let's, so let's go with this. Do 
Do I rate Inca higher after playing him? No. I do not. What victory type are we going for? I'm not sure yet. I was hoping for a space race, but I was also thinking that this would be a little bit more uh, available and open. Free Scout's a good reward? Yeah, Free Scout's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. I'm not liking the fact that we're going to need a bunch of coastals here. Condi's friendly. Since I think we need to be a little bit more warmongery, thinking about getting a uh, an encampment right here. It's on our road. Science the most boring victory type? I mean, that's a matter of preference. Is it easiest to achieve in general? I don't think so. No, I, uh, I think science victory is one of the good ones, frankly. I have fun with it anyways. I think I need this encampment now. I think we're going to have to fight too much. I want to make sure I can finish off Gandhi and not just uh, use the city state, you know? It's 280 to levy. It's pretty rough now. I have to get that. Camets don't synergize well with his ability? Not really, no. I can't get... Uh, <laughs> so if I declare war on him, I can actually steal the settler. But then I'm at war with him. It doesn't seem great. Well, I guess there's another city down here we can settle. It's not great, though. Tons of, like, flatland plantations that I'm not thrilled about. Seriously? <laughs> I can't get open borders with him because he's mad at me. What is this? <laughs> okay. I don't... I don't know. So end of the era happening already. Fill the water bag from my people. So there's his incentive for Earth Goddess. Makes some sense. You gonna go anywhere? <laughs> I want it. Give me. Just give it to me. It's right there. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Please give. My heart taking craftsmanship? I am, yeah. I need to start producing units. That's decent. Maybe move. This, this I can do. I can actually get that Eureka. This is so irritating. <laughs> 
This is the best as far as getting mileage out of Pearl, but I think I want to settle here. So I'm that much closer to the action. I'm not sure. All right, let's switch off of this. Don't know if I'm getting a golden here. Kind of doubt it. Jerezy, what's up, buddy? How does it know? How does it know I can't get it? How's Matthias going? How's it know? Why is it so smart? Jerezy, thank you for the five months. I appreciate it. Exclamation point ad band name. Is what you're looking for. Uh, okay. Um, oh, that's right over there. Okay. Rip my trader. No, we're, we're declaring on Gandhi in like five, five or six turns, I think. Is he coming for me? It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Moving over here. It was luxuries like egg. <laughs> not. I want it. <sighs> I consider Amani and loyalty flip. It never actually happens on deity with the amount of time. He's going to grow fast with his unique tile improvement. He's already got hanging gardens. And so the idea that I'm going to loyalty flip him, especially since I'm not guaranteed a golden age here, probably not going to be a thing. All right. So we want to start getting some units. Um, I think it might be fi a fine time for that. I could also see squeak squeaking in a barracks here. Could also see running encampment training to just try to squeeze out Sun Tzu here. Because uh, that would help if we can levy and upgrade and do all that shenanigans. I think that's a little bit better, actually. You don't think I have time for the barracks? I do. So I need one, two, three more turns. Then I have to buy this. Then I have to get iron. I, I need iron to turn into swordsman up here. It's 340 to levy this at the moment. So we can go here just in case I need to pivot into slingers. I think Teddy's actually distracted with that camp, that uh, barbarian camp. And then I like the production the most still. And I can try to block him with my scouts actually. <sighs> um, what else am I looking for? Hi, Joshua. First time getting you live, you're in Australia. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Welcome in. Welcome into the shop. Good to have you here. Uh, I really do want political philosophy. We're 16 turns from it. That might be the timer on our war. Um, I could grab Amani. Yeah, Amani makes sense. Victor could make sense. But if I'm levying, I think I just want Amani. It does not happen this era, sadly. I wanted to avoid <laughs> this. <laughs> All right. But your idea of peace left me no choice. Let's 
So let's see what all this looks like now. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's not that distracted. That's true. Yeah, I can nab that settler now, theoretically. Where'd it go? May the forces of evil. About to boost this, which is good. Maybe walls could be good. Am I still declaring on Gandhi? I think so. So this is where the old version was considerably better than this version. Um, the fact that we need any iron at all to upgrade their warriors is a huge cost um, compared to, to having none. Nice. So maybe I can come up and like settle the horses or something. Seems interesting. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put a cut in this video. Uh, certainly turned out to be a spicy beginning. We'll see where things go from here. I, I was kind of thinking I wanted to take over my continent in the first place. Uh, so we're in a really weird settle like position and all that. But uh, I'm hoping that with, uh, with, a, with a levy up here that we're going to be just fine. Uh, the problem, the biggest problem might be the lack of golden age. But honestly, the golden age itself doesn't do a whole lot for us. So as far as loyalty, it could be a pain, but everything else, it doesn't seem to be too big of a deal. We do have Varu already, which could be a big, bit of a problem. Uh, but we'll cross all that bridge, uh, all, all that in the next one. Thank you so much. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say out us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.